you know, groundbreaking innovations just seem to be happening at the speed of light in the Boston area. Yeah, we're talking about everything from robots that move like humans to furniture that can turn your living room into a bedroom. Mm. We continue our Boston Next series tonight focusing on technology. Here's WBZ's Liam Martin. Meet Valkyrie. She's basically the most sophisticated humanoid built. She's designed by NASA and can walk, including over rough and hilly terrains, and perform complicated tasks with her hands. Imagine sending uh, an army of, of the Valkyries to Mars to basically get a station set up so that when the humans get there, they can get right to work. So why is this $2.5 million robot in Boston? She's housed at Mass Robotics, a nonprofit co-founded by Joyce Adopoulos to support startups in the robotic space. We help them meet manufacturers. We help them meet uh, VCs. We help them meet people who can help market their, their item and collaborate with each other. And Valkyrie is not the only teaching tool here at Mass Robotics. This is one of the robots that companies here at Mass Robotics can use. His name is Baxter. He can perform all kinds of sophisticated functions including this. In addition to cool collaborations like Baxter and Valkyrie, Mass Robotics, which began only in 2017, already houses more than 30 startups at this building in Boston and is expanding. Why is this moving? <laughs> Great question. One of those companies, Ori, is literally robotic furniture. It can transform your bedroom into your living room at the touch of a button. You can just, you know, press, let's say, the living room button. And in an apartment, this area that you don't need anymore, you are not using your bed or you are not using your closet, it could just collapse. And your bedroom just became your living room. Correct. Just one of the innovative startups at Mass Robotics and a testament to the overwhelming growth of the industry in Massachusetts in recent years. But it's not just robotics. Greater Boston has become the Silicon Valley of the East Coast. The area of Kennel Square is thought of as the most innovative square mile on the planet. Stas Gation is managing director of the Cambridge Innovation Center. In Cambridge, they house and support dozens of startups. Android started here. I'm driving right up on there, and then you can see inside there's a lift. So has this much younger company, Zippity Cars, founded by Air Force veteran Ed Warren. I absolutely see Zippity as the future of convenient car care. This mobile trailer transforms. Just getting a premium package, oil change, tire rotation. Into a full service auto shop on wheels. The real trick to it is we're able to create a lot more space inside by these fold out doors. Which then sits in office parks around New England and can service your car while you work. We're able to aggregate demand and do it in a way that then lowers the cost to you, the customer, and it's no extra effort to you. Innovations like this are becoming Coming very common in an area with the densest population of universities in the country. From robots that help paralyze people walk again to logistics companies that get products to you much faster or clothes that can light up or change colors. What we're trying to do is get more people onto the bus, have a great time and have fun on the bus. To social media that gives you interactive audio tours on your public bus ride, what's clear is that Boston is in the midst of a tech boom. So we just gave you a taste of some of the tech stories that we're going to be sharing with you in the weeks to come. And our coverage also continues online. You can go to our website, cbsboston.com, to learn why Boston got not one but two of those million-dollar robots named Valkyrie. You can also get a behind-the-scenes look at how to get your car serviced by that company that we just mentioned, Zippity Cars. But David and Lisa, one other statistic to just to drive home how much innovation is taking place right now. Kendall Square, that, that one yeah. square mile in Cambridge with all that innovation. In 1999, there was $100 million in venture capital money in that square mile. It is now $7 billion. <laughs> so it is wow. just taking off innovation after innovation. And to think that Mass Robotics just started last year is staggering. And they're going to have to move out of the building soon because there are so many companies that want to come here, want to use the Boston universities and all that venture capital money. And it's a very exciting time. It is. Robots are in right now. They are in. Robots they're are in. in. They're going to be in for a while. <laughs>